Tonight, we continue our in-depth report on the Texas drought. After last night's downpour, our lack of water may not be on top of mind. But at 6 o'clock, we told you about the possibility of this drought dragging on for another 15 years. Our hill country is back into the worst drought category, exceptional drought, for the first time in two years. But meteorologist David Yeomans explains relief could be on the way in just a few months. 1957, the end of Texas's worst drought. We had torrential rains in every sector of Texas for some two weeks. We measured rainfall in feet and not inches. That rain was brought by an El Nino. On average, every five years, the warm water comes back across the equatorial Pacific from the west to the east and warms up the water over in the eastern Pacific. And that's what we call an El Nino event. Dr. Kerry Cook studies climate patterns at the University of Texas, and one of them, El Nino, typically brings more rain to central Texas, and lots of it. El Nino events have brought some of Austin's wettest years and worst floods in our history. If those worst floods were to happen again today, the water would rise up from Lady Bird Lake and cover all of what is now the Lady Bird Hike and Bike Trail. In fact, in Austin's history, two different floods have come all the way up to this high water marker along Cesar Chavez. At Colorado Street, Austin's old fire tower had floodwaters inside of it. If that were to happen again, waters could flood parts of downtown. A mild El Nino can bring relief, but a moderate to intense El Nino will cause some floods. Weather historians like George Bomar say back in 1997, during the last strong El Nino event, the Austin area got too much rain, leading to flooding all along the Highland Lakes and into Austin. Since record keeping began in 1950, the 1997 El Nino was the strongest so far. We are now observing the strongest um, heat anomaly in the upper ocean in, in 35 years. Meaning this year's could be the strongest El Nino yet. Models are predicting about a 70% probability of it happening. I think those numbers are going to firm up quite a bit over the next month. If it does happen, we could be well on our way to making our drought history. The El Nino that seems to be forming is our best chance of breaking it in the near future. David Yeomans, KXAN News. Well, and if you missed our in-depth report at 6 o'clock, whether the El Nino develops or not, we told you about a little-known weather pattern that could extend our drought until the year 2030. You can find that report on our homepage at KXAN.com. Just search this story.